What's up guys, ViPrivateV here, and today we're going to be flashing the brand new FU mode and how to update your IMUF on your Helio Spring flight controller. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do if you haven't done so already is click on, go to Google, type in Pegasus Butterfly Helio RC or something like that. You'll get to this GitHub right here. Click on that. And what you go ahead and do is download one of these Pegasus uh, configurators right here, whatever one you want for your computer, whatever is compatible with it. And then once you're done with that, what you want to do is immersion RC driver fixer. So we're going to type that up here. So I can find it. Impulse, that's it. Impulse RC driver fixer. There we go. So once you get your impulse driver fixer here, you want to load that up. And if you don't have it already, just Google uh, Impulse RC Driver Fixer and install it. And pretty much what we'll do is put your flight controller into bootloader mode. So now it's installing the DFU drivers. And then once it says it's done, it'll go ahead and um, be done. All right, so it's done. So the flight controller is in DFU mode. Now this is what you should have on your desktop, the new Pegasus UI. Click on that. Now it's going to go ahead and show you right here how to um, flash. But I know I haven't flashed the newest version of Butterfly on here on this quad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Butterfly. I'm going to click on Targets. And I'm going to look for the Helio target. There we go. Helio Spring. There it is. And then once you go ahead and click on that, so I want your version, and we're going to do the newest version, Butterfly 3.6.2, and then you want to click on Erase Flash to make sure it erases the board, and then you want to click on Flash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the newest version of the 3.6.2 onto your Helio Spring, and then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and update the IMUF um, driver. So I'm going to cut this out so it's done updating and then I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, so we are back and it's done flashing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flash the new IMUF. So you want to click on version, click on IMUF right here, this little arrow. And then we want to click on right here, Starbuck fully unleashed. This is the FU mode. And just to show you, you can go and pick different ones, but this is the newest one. So I'm going to pick on the fully unleashed one and I'm going to click on flash. And then it's going to flash that. And then we're all pretty much done with it. So then what we're going to do after this, I'm going to go ahead and do a flight, kind of tell you how it feels. This is going to be on my floss style. Um, the other video I did, uh, if you want a full video on how to set this thing up, like all the little screens and everything, I did do a video already on that, and I will link that down below. And I'll also link that at the top right right now if you want to go ahead and start doing that now. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, let's check out things, see how this thing flies. All right, we're off, and we are flying. So I'm kind of just getting my feel for how it feels. Really shocked actually, it doesn't have any prop wash really at all. Yeah, it's feeling really good. Have a little bit of prop wash when we come down, but other than that, it's feeling pretty good. Definitely, this feels pretty locked in. Especially since this is all on stock PIDs, everything has not been tuned. Yeah, I'm definitely going to probably be updating my Chameleon to this firmware, or this IMUF at least. It'll be a lot easier on that one too, since I, all I have to do is just update the IMUF. I don't have to flash anything on it, since it already has the newest version. But it feels pretty smooth. Smoothest than I probably have flown in a while. Especially this on default, without having to do really any tuning at all on it. 
I will be honest though, I did have to raise D on the pitch about three points. Um, just because it did have a little bit of a nose pitch on it, but it was pretty good. And little bobbles. I'd be really interested to see what this thing would feel like a racing frame. But I'll, I'll definitely give it to Helio. I'm definitely impressed with the uh, new Flash and uh, what they're doing over there. Because this thing does feel pretty good. Especially if you're just coming into this hobby you know, as a beginner and you don't want to mess with tuning. Let's get one of these Helio Spring Flight Controllers, Flash, whatever. And flash this IMUF FU mode, and you're gonna have a pretty locked in, pretty good feeling quad right out of the box. So I'm gonna, I'll, let, I'll let you guys uh, watch the flight and see how you, what your thoughts are. Uh, if you, leave it down in the comments what you think. Um, will you be flashing this? I definitely would give it a recommend. At least try it out, see how you like it. I definitely have uh, enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe. Peace.